Hello everybody, it's Joe Ditzel. I'm back on my bicycle. Hey, come with me on this bike ride in the middle of the night on October 8th, 2016, a chilly 50 degrees. And let me share with you this crazy story about the rise and worldwide takeover of humankind by the Amazon drone army. But before we get into all of that, how are you doing? I hope everything is okay in your world. Folks, as we roll through downtown Columbus, Ohio, around 1230 in the morning, let me tell you my experience with Amazon Prime Now. You're saying, what the heck is Amazon Prime Now? I've heard of Amazon Prime, but Amazon Prime Now is the next step. So let me give you a little background. I was buying these little GoPro knickknacks, these cheap Chinese knockoff uh, accessories for GoPro cameras uh, that the accessory costs four dollars but the shipping was five dollars and i don't have any money so i couldn't afford to spend five dollars every time i needed a little gopro accessory from china so with amazon prime you get free two-day shipping so I joined, and within two days, I had already gotten my money back buying a alligator hat clip and some other crapola that I bought. So then I was talking to my buddy about this situation, and she said, you should try Amazon Prime now. Now, I knew in Los Angeles that Amazon had some same-day delivery, but I didn't realize the name of it, Amazon Prime Now, nor did I think they had it in smaller cities. Well, they do. And in fact, they do right in Columbus, Ohio, where I am temporarily staying. So I thought, let's test it out. So I, or at halftime, I think it was, or it was around 5.30, uh, I don't know what which point the Ohio State game was at that point. It started at 3.30 Eastern Time. I decided to just try it out. Let's order some stuff that I would normally get and give it a go. So I fired up the Amazon Prime Now website. And sure enough, there's 10,000 items in that website that is separate from the main Amazon. So you can't get everything that Amazon offers, but you can get a lot of stuff. So I love cereal. I'm like Seinfeld, man. I love that cereal. I ordered some cereal. I ordered some bread, you know, some basic stuff, some bananas. And uh, <laughs> I eat bananas when I try to pretend I'm going to eat healthy. So, you, you know, I went to the uh, checkout uh, what do you call it? Cart. <laughs> yes, I'm in technology too. <laughs> uh, I tried to check out, but it wouldn't let me. It said, you have to spend 20 bucks. So, all right. So I ordered some more junk. And then it asks you if you want to do a tip, if you want to provide a tip. And I, I, this is the first time I've ever used the service. So I don't know what the heck is going on. I'm thinking tip. Do you, why would you tip an Amazon delivery? But the suggested tip is five bucks, and I was only ordering like 22, so I didn't know what to tip. So I, I said, I'll make it two bucks. Uh, <laughs> you know, I have no clue what's going on. So I make it two bucks. I order this stuff at 5.30. Now, if you want, if you have this service in your city, if you want it right away, uh, more or less right away, $8, $8 charge for delivery. But... If you can wait two hours, that's right, you'll have to wait two hours or more. Delivery is free. So my choices were uh, between 6 and 8 p.m. 
and 8 to 10 p.m., either one, free shipping. So I thought, hey, let's just test it out. Let's go for 6 to 8 and see what happens and see if they show up. <laughs> so sure enough, at 7.15, they show up with all of my stuff. So kudos to Amazon for creating a good first impression. And I thought, this is amazing because I don't have a car here in town. So that's one reason why I ride my bike all the time. But hey, the weather's changing. It's going to be rainy fall pretty soon. And then, of course, the horrible excuse for winter that is the Ohio winter. And I could say that I lived here. I was born here. So, <laughs> so this could be a really good feature for me. And uh, I looked into it a little bit more about find out what it's all about. How did it evolve? So the first thing that I wanted to find out about is what do normal people do with the tip? Like what do most people do with the tipping? So online, as in most things online, it's split down the middle. Some drivers on Reddit were saying, hey, we only make $11 an hour, or I think in bigger cities it's 15 But in a city like this, it's probably 11 so And they're saying, hey, we don't get anything. We, they don't pay for our gas. They don't pay for our insurance. They don't pay for wear and tear in our car. So if you don't tip, we're only getting that $11 an hour, and they have to run out. And you know the, the miles they're putting on their cars is astronomical. So that's why... They're saying, you should tip us. And some Prime members were saying, hey, I already pay $100 plus per year for Prime. And Amazon's the one offering the free delivery. So why shouldn't I take advantage of that? And why should I pay more on top of my Prime membership, which I've already paying for the various things you get with Prime? You know, because you tip the pizza guy or pizza girl when they come to the door. So in this case, it was flawless. They said they'd be there between 6 and 8, and they were there. So I don't know what the deal, what the uh, people that are so anti-tip is about. it. You don't have to give them, you know, 40 bucks for a tip. But, uh, you know, the delivery service itself you start to wonder, do do you really know if somebody like me that doesn't have a car, it makes sense. But the main prime people, the prime now members using the service are between 25 and 44. So the main age group that is using prime now with the two hour delivery are between 25 and 44. So these are people that are able bodied very likely have a car <laughs> and can pick up their own gosh darn groceries. Why are they using the service? Well, of course, because it's so convenient and people love it. I read that people using it, people that use it for the first time, use it over and over again. And 70% of all Prime Now customers have used it in the last 30 days. And something like 30% have used it in the last week or something like that. It's, it's the next step. I was talking to my friend and she said, well, I don't need my toothpaste in two hours. <laughs> I don't need some rye bread within a three-hour window. I can wait. Well, that's fine, but technology is just continuing to advance, right? Right. So if this seems like excessive, if this seems for lazy people, you're just going to have to accept it because Amazon is going after the $1 trillion grocery business in a big way. This is just the beginning. I mean, they're able... I ordered it at 5.30. I had it at 7.15. They made the delivery on time and everything was there. It was flawless. Amazon is a machine. If you think this is bad, what about when our skies are filled with drones? When you are able to order online and have a drone deliver your Captain Crunch cereal to your front 
porch within half the time or a quarter of the time that it takes prime now, well, then it's going to make prime now look like a Model T Ford from 1917. So accept it. Accept these conveniences. Accept these changes. Welcome the new world of convenience. <laughs> and do you really want to go? I mean, do you really want to stop at the grocery store? Now, some people like to go to the grocery store and they look at the food and look at the bananas and, but you know, and I get that. But it's such a hassle. I mean, if you don't call the right uh, lane, the right checkout aisle, you're hosed. If you get behind some dork that has the wrong size item and has to run all the way back to the far corner of the store to get the right one while you're standing there like a dork. And if you try to avoid that and you go to the self-checkout lane, good luck. The local grocery in my neighborhood, it never works. It never works. This is what it says. Within 10 to 15 seconds of you trying to use the self-checkout, this is what each of them say all the time, every day. It says, help is on the way. Please wait. Help is on the way. And the person that you're waiting for help are the same people that are checking out regular customers in the regular lanes. They don't have time to come over and help you with your dumb machine. That's why. That's why you're going to use services like Amazon Prime now when it comes to your neighborhood. So you don't have to stand at the dumb self-checkout machine going, help is on the way. Help is on the way. And you just want to punch the machine so that it blows up. So that smoke and steam come out of it. So that you can kick it to the ground. And then you go, there's your help. <laughs> <laughs> so I suggest if you start to use Amazon Prime now, you tip. Don't be one of these dorks that says, oh, I'm already paying for Amazon Prime. I'm not going to tip the driver. The driver is trying to make ends meet on $11 per hour, and they're trying to pay for their gas and their insurance and the wear and tear on their car. And if you don't tip, they're barely going to make ends meet. And here's an even more incentive for you, because they're going to know Amazon's going to know, and when they send the drones, when drones become the norm, you're going to have to tip the drone. And if you're saying, I'm not going to tip the drone, that's why I'm telling you, get in the habit now of tipping. Because if, if the drones come and Amazon says you got to tip the drone, you're going to say, it's just a damn drone. It's just a machine. I'm not tipping a machine. No, it's more than a machine. The drones are part of the transition of humankind into the artificial intelligence machine age. And if you don't tip the drones, they're going to know and they're going to register it in the global brain that is Amazon. And you are going to be singled out because the drone will sit on your porch and it will start to beep and will say, waiting for tip, waiting for tip. And if you, don't trans, if you don't transfer some money from your app on the phone, from your bank account on your phone into the drone's brain, you are marked, my friend. And the next time you don't tip, the drone is going to shoot a seven-story hologram of you out over the neighborhood. So all of your neighbors can see the hologram of you, and then they're going to hang a graphic on your body, on the hologram that says, this guy doesn't tip. And then everywhere you go, everywhere you go in your neighborhood, the people are going to look at you and they'll go, why didn't you tip the drone, man? You're making our neighborhood look bad and our real estate values are going down. When you go to the store, when you go to the PTA meeting, when you go to your kid's Little League, everywhere you go, they're going to say, dude, you better start tipping the drones or we're going to kick you out of the neighborhood. So that's what I'm saying. Get used to these new services like Amazon Prime now and tip your driver. Because if you don't, when the drone army makes their advance on humankind, when they get enough intelligence and that one day they decide to make their move and subjugate us, 
they're going to separate you into two different categories, the people that tipped and the people that didn't tip. And believe me, when the drone army starts to take over the world, you want to be on the right side of that line. It's just something to think about. Folks, that's all I have for now. I'm just looking out for you. Until next time, we'll see you then.